Welcome everybody, it's Turbo Terramino here, and today's a great day because I want to bring you some news. Some gaming news. But, it may be a rumor. So I don't... I, I just want to bring you what's currently being spoken about online and see if there is a trend here for Animal Crossing. Being on the Nintendo Switch. So with Animal Crossing, I just want to bring up something. So recently, I've been hoping for Animal Crossing to be announced, a, a new port of Animal Crossing to be announced for quite some time now. I've been a huge fan of the series and still continue to play my Animal Crossing New Leaf somewhat daily. Um, but let's just let's just bring out the facts right now first. Facts meaning what people are saying, right? So recently, the Boy Scout magazine Boy's Life said, and I quote, and well, as they suggested that they're that there's going to be an unveiling of Animal Crossing at E3. E3 is between June 13th and June 15th, so it's coming up super soon. But I'm gonna I'm gonna quote the magazine just a second here. So, quote: Since Nintendo has already and since Nintendo already launched its Switch console in the Epic Zelda Breath of the Wild earlier this year, what's left to announce? Updates on cool Switch games like Super Mario Odyssey, Splatoon 2, Animal Crossing, or even a new Pikmin title? So right there, if we're going to pick apart that statement, we already know that Super Mario Odyssey, Splatoon 2, and Pikmin have already been announced. One problem, Splatoon 2, the, the team that's doing Splatoon 2 was taken from Animal Crossing, right? So the team was already split up to do Splatoon 2. But one thing in favor of being able to do an Animal Crossing game, Splatoon 2 is reusing assets from its first game. So what that means is that there's a potential that it's not fully the, the, the entire team needs to work on Splatoon 2. That there's potential of them being able to work on Animal Crossing at the same time. Um, there may have been a misconception here. Um, while they're speaking of Switch, they might be confusing with Animal Crossing the mobile game, which Nintendo has announced that it was going to come out but got pushed back due to Fire Emblem. Um, I'm assuming that we're going to hear something about the mobile game at E3, at least. Um, what we also have, hints-wise, is on the Nintendo Switch, if you scroll down to the very bottom, right when the Nintendo Switch was released, one of the very first screens, it was news on the Nintendo Switch, and it shows a picture of a bunch of icons. One of those icons is Animal Crossing, which was odd. Not to mention, if you don't want to use your Mii as your icon for the Nintendo Switch, you can choose up to 12 different Animal Crossing characters as your icon. 12, that's a lot of characters for this game, especially when there hasn't been an announcement for the game. Um, so, I mean, right now, we have a lot of opportunity for Animal Crossing to come out. Now, Boys Life Magazine came out and said that what they were speaking out of Animal Crossing had been conjecture. Um, but what we can think about, and let's, let's put our hats on now, our tinfoil hats. If you guys have played Super Mario 8 or Super Mario 8 Deluxe and you're playing the Animal Crossing uh, map, the course, if you look at the sides of the map, they already they already have assets drawn and created for Animal Crossing. There's a lot of homes there. There's a lot of characters already drawn and created. Um, they already have them in full 3D. So you already have some assets already built there. And not to mention just the Mario Kart game. If you want to go back to that very, very horrible, I bought it and I don't have it anymore. <laughs> I have the Amiibos behind me, but God, it was so bad. The uh, Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival. And 3D assets were created there as well, um, which is very, very good. So what I'm saying is the assets are already created for this game so they've already gone in and created some i mean like there are already 3d assets from uh new leaf right and there's always been 3d assets because the game's always been 3d but 
what if they've been creating this game in the background without us knowing and just keeping it in the dark and just announcing it at the last second because the Nintendo Switch would be the perfect console for Animal Crossing because you can take it on the go with you so you can make it Street Pass enabled as well as you can play it on home and you can put it on the home console because I think the last uh, console Animal Crossing game was City Folk on the Wii. So, what do you guys think? Do you guys think that we're looking to get an announcement for Animal Crossing at E3 this year? Do you think it's just going to be the mobile game? Do you not care about Animal Crossing at all? Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And I completely forgot. I want you guys to do me a favor if you're any type of Animal Crossing fan. Go check out BitBlock. I'm going to have the video tagged at the end of this one. Th these guys went ahead and created what they had hoped to have the next Animal Crossing game look like and be like and feel like. They did an amazing job. I saw this quite some time ago, but it certainly deserves more recognition. So please go check these guys out. They are BitBlock, and I will have their video at the end of this one. Again, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and tune in next time.